Howdy ho everybody, welcome on back. Today we're going to talk about our ASA filament, or as we call it, Acronitrile Styrene Acrylate. Now this comes with some pretty heavy claims. They claim it's temperature resistant, it's UV resistant, it's chemical resistant, it's impact resistant, it's all these great wonderful things that we look for in a, in a, in a strong filament. So I'd, I'd like to talk a little bit about a few things there. Firstly, I found it really, really pleasurable to print with. It wasn't tricky at all. Um, online I looked beforehand and there were numbers thrown around like 110 degree hotbeds, 265 degree nozzles, etc, etc. To be honest, I was really, really happy when I tried my ABS settings, which is about 2, uh, 240 on the nozzle, 245 on the nozzle, and about 90-ish on the hotbed and had no issue with adhesion, warping or anything like that. All in all, printed out quite nicely. I did print out a litho paint, was it a first attempt there. Printed out flawlessly first attempt. The problem I will say is that the finish is highly glossy and whilst that's beautiful for certain uses, for litho paints I think it gives a little bit too much reflection. So I wouldn't recommend using a shiny ASA for a filament, uh, for a litho paint use. Reason I did try this was I thought, hey, it might be with this chemical resistance they're claiming, might be a perfect sort of car litho paint sort of thing that you could stick on your window in the car without having to worry about warping. So I figured I'd test that after I printed with this. At a photo shoot, I left it in the car on about a 40 degree day for about two hours. Yes, it was in the sun. Came back and to be honest, it has lightly started warping, peeling up from the corners sort of thing. Um, so nothing particularly major yet, but that was only a few hours. So what I will do is I'm probably gonna throw this back in the car, forget about it, leave it there for a couple of weeks or a week or so, and just sort of monitor it and see what happens, see if it shows any serious further signs. Now, I've been thinking about what a proper way of testing this filament to really give it a bit of a run for its money and test the UV, sun, heat, everything like that. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna print a little cap that's missing from Buddy's boat. He's got a little little missing cap that's on the front of his boat there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print him one of them and we're just gonna throw it in there and see how it fares. We take it out the, uh, on the ocean, uh, in the river, everything like that. He uses very mild, but he uses like chemicals to give it a clean down every now and again. So it will be interesting. It's, it's certainly gonna get a, get a flogging where it is. This is my wearable planter vase. It's sort of inspired by Colini Bikini's selection. Now, I just felt a little bit bad constantly using hers, and I, I love a bit of a challenge, and I like to try and learn a bit more about design, so I thought I'd design my own, very basic. Uh, so this is it, I might do a few more different versions. There's a very sort of light, potentially kind of missing layers sort of thing. Might need to up my flow or temperature a little bit probably and go, go with it. Look, the raft was, was absolutely spectacular before I go on. The raft was printed and, and, and adhered wonderfully, kept the piece to the raft throughout printing. And then when it came to pop the raft off, it literally just popped and flew off. It was spectacular. However, right above that, about the, uh, the couple of mil or, or millimetre above that, there's some sort of weird knobby sort of artifact there. So I'm not sure what that's all about, to be honest. But other than that, the hole's printed out nicely. They're a little bit too big now. I see them in real life, so I'm gonna make them a little smaller in the design for the next print. But again, bit of a test. But all in all, cannot complain. When, uh, when we've literally thrown it in the printer, thrown the filament in the printer, thrown our ABS settings on and click print, and we've come out with usable pieces first off the bat, look, that's, that's gotta be a win. So guys, I hope that helps. My recommendations as far as printing this filament would be to start off with your ABS settings and work from there. Um, a good way if especially, I'm not sure about Bowden, but if especially you're a direct feed, if you, when you actually feed your filament in, once you're at the, at the temperature you, you're thinking you're gonna try and print at, just gently feed the filament through and see if there's any real serious resistance. If there's too much resistance, then up your temperature a little bit so it does feed through the nozzle nice and smoothly. You don't want it, yeah, bubbling and popping, but you do want a nice smooth feed. So guys, again, I hope that helps. Let me know if there's any suggestions on something interesting for me to print with this filament, um, something that's gonna run it, through the, run it through the test a little bit more, something that could be quite interesting. Any questions on something I've missed setting-wise or anything like that, let me know. And um, have a wonderful day, wonderful night, wherever you are and whatever you might be doing. Hopefully you subscribe. Otherwise, happy printing.